Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It is weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. To tell tell us when you got involved with Hellfire. Okay, okay so I got. Uh, it's so interesting to hear you talk about certain mic records from that point of view because yeah. I associate it with like niggas giving me swirlies in high school and that <laughs> record got me through. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> like when Natural Causes, when Nightmares came out, I remember I was on my laptop in theology class freshman year in college and he tweeted about it. I just packed up, left the class. Like I was like, I gotta watch this new mic shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's to, the most like, irresponsible shit I yeah, ever heard in my life. Yeah, that's like, philosophy. Uh, yeah, like I was like, see ya. Like I, I had to go. I watched that video. And at the time, like, I wasn't really rapping at all. I was running, like, this stupid little website, and I wrote the longest, like... What was your website? It was called, like, the Weatherman's Union. It was this whole stupid thing, and... Yeah, man, I sometimes this... email at you at your email address there, yeah, and it, it bounces it back all the time. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wrote the longest post about that. Like, I was just... For me, like, that site really started because I was just like, yo, Mike is that dude. Mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna make a site and write about his shit and, like, get mm -hmm. him shine. Mm -hmm. So it's so interesting to hear you guys talk about certain records from that point of view. But um, I don't know. I, I got started rapping and did a couple tapes. And I'd known Mike from interviews with him and talking to him and stuff. And he brought me on the road two summers ago. We did like a, a one-week tour run and talked a lot about rap and a lot about like the kind of aspirations I had. And at the time, I was, I was just emailing um, Riley Lake. I just found his SoundCloud at random. And, um, yeah, like, so things that happened at day was sort of in its infant stage then. Mm -hmm. And I was just bouncing stuff to him. And I just met you that summer, too, in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, I just met you at that Buck 65 show. And I really didn't have, I had no music that I owned. You know, I'd had yeah. the Baz thing and this mixtape where I was stealing, like, Flying Lotus beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so that, it was like, as rappers do when they first right, start off. Right, right. And it was like, yeah, was, was how old are you right now? I'm 21. I was so 19. how you were 19 then. Yeah. So how are you gonna get some production at that time? Right. No, yeah, I yeah. was like, this is great. I'll take that. Co-op these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember when I was in math class when I remember the first time you tweeted me back. Oh uh, like, really? You're like, your tape is inspired, by the way. Uh, 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 I left uh, uh, class that that day too. I was like, Bye. <laughs> like, I, just, I would do that anytime some cool happens. <laughs> I would just pack up and leave it. My friends would be like, where are you going? I can't talk to you. Like, I got bars, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I got <laughs> bars. Shut up. Like, I just pack everything up and leave. And yeah, it was, yeah, it was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. So then, like, the next school year started. My junior year of college started. And um, I was working on these tapes. And I, I had nothing. And I had, like, a little internet following. Mm -hmm. But no labels and, like, this this fellow Blake Gillespie over at Impose, like he was briefly A and Ring and he pitched my stuff to like five different labels and they were all like, That nigga sucks, you know, mm -hmm. and like the Anacon thing happened and I was like really sad. Was you like, were on Anacon? No, no, no. I did this Baz tape to try to like court them. Wow. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was just like so many labels were like, You're you're not good. Yeah, Anacon like, doesn't well Anacon hasn't signed a rapper in like Yeah. No, they right. signed they signed, they signed young rappers. fathers, man. They like, signed the rappers same time. Shit. Well that, well that's not well, why they didn't sign him. Tell him tell him why there was a problem to you. Oh, okay. Well the thing with Anacon was like if I okay, being totally honest, the thing with Anacon I made that tape as like a f like like a resume. Like I was just totally. like these are beats that are on your label. I'll make this tape. Mike was like, "I know some of those guys there. I will put my neck on the line for you. Like I'll give this to them. I'll vouch for you." And so it was really more it was never supposed to become a tape. It was just supposed to be like, "I'm a big fan. Totally. Here's my stuff." And they never responded for like a month and a half. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever came from it. Like I was like, "Mike, what's going on?" He was like, I'm not hearing anything, da 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 So then I just put it out on the net, and was like, fuck it, who cares? Mm -hmm. And I had, like, the needle drop in my corner. And so that created enough buzz to the point where I got, like, the, the like, yo, take this off your band camp email from Sean. Wow. And I got, and, like, I remember... Uh, he, in Did the, they act like they didn't know it existed before? No, no, no. He he was like, he was like yeah, I, I heard the tape. Like, when Mike <laughs> did No, and, like, he was like, he's like, no offense, man, it's just nothing special. That's what he said. And I was, I, was, I was, like, sitting in my dorm room, and I was like, curses! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh! Did, did, so you, did you just pack up and go to class? No, no, no. I, didn't I just went shit. to class. <laughs> like, the inverse yeah. of bad news. I was like, get my ass back in class. <laughs> no, Give dude, me a Dorita book now. I was, I was, like, really bummed, and Mike was so cool. Like, he was just like, yo, dude, like, that happens. That happens. You know what I mean? Like, keep your head in the game. Keep rapping. 
And then um, wait, which, you can do it rocking. Did he give you a which, which which mic is this? Is Mike, this? Eagle. Mike Eagle. Oh, I was Mike Eagle. Yeah. Right. And so um, I was working on this new tape, and my grandmother was visiting me on campus, and I asked her for a thousand dollar loan mm -hmm. to make physicals of my WP because mm -hmm. there was like no label involved. There was nothing going on, and she was like, mm, I don't know, maybe da da da. And I was hanging out with my grandmother when I got your email, uh, which was were like... Were we on tour at the time? Reagan's email. Yeah, Reagan's email. I'm my bus, bad. My name is well, driver. I got, I got the bus driver email. And it was like... <laughs> bus driver email. The bus driver writes emails in this terse, concise style that was just like, if you need help, Hellfire will help you. <laughs> like, like, that was the whole... Like, yeah, it was yeah, one yeah. line. Like, it was like, yeah. there is help if you need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I got that. I was like, look at this grandma. And then she gave me the money, and then everything kind of... And that came, out, that came up beginning this yeah. year, right? Was that and yeah, so actually, this that's is, so interesting to hear you say that. It did come out yeah, this January year. January 1st, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's a part it's of our like, year-end shit that we're doing right it's now. Crazy. It's going to be on the Passion of the West year-end It feels like a long time ago, but yeah, like just a year ago was and the first time I'd been 